what's up you guys so i'm ranting about i'm really irritated with doordash and instacart today um that's what i'm saying gig work just like any other job has its pros and cons and one of the cons is when the stores don't have shit so i wasted my time going all the way to this store thankfully i'm doing a doordash drop off too and the walgreens was an instacart order that i was gonna grab on the way this way um but yeah, I'm just irritated because that was an inconvenience. So I'm chatting Instacart right now because they need to compensate me for coming to this store and wasting my time, my energy getting out the car, walking into the store, checking the aisles. You know, I don't play about my time and my energy. Energy is everything. You're not going to waste my time and my energy. So yes, y'all compensating me for that. Um, but these customers, sometimes they irritate and they want to add stuff at the last minute. They picky about they stuff then go to the store and get your shit your damn self okay like girl you obviously need if you you could have just got the tissue that they had but i'm just more irritated with the stores because don't be accepting these doordash orders and instacart orders but y'all not gonna keep the stock up because you're getting more orders now you're getting more business more revenue now because y'all are affiliated with these instacart companies and stuff like that so that means you're 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 getting an increase an influx of orders so the stuff is going quicker especially stuff that's more common and this lady wanted paper towels and toilet paper the name brand stuff so you know like come on and so this doordash order i'm dropping off it's just a coke that was a quick little run it was only like five dollars for that order I had to go on shop right which i had another order at shop right which also got on my nerves because the lady address was wrong took me to a location I'm like this is not the address there's no that address is not even real whole time her address was up the street a little bit like lady put the right address on your stuff like stuff like that is just what irritates me like then you keep telling some this brown fence the house with the brown fence girl I don't see no brown fence because I'm all the way down the street because you got the wrong address up here dummy then when I asked I said your address 5683 she said yes it's the brown fence and then she sends me back the other address like oh I'll be like People are so freaking retarded. And then I'm hungry. So, I ate all day. Okay? So, I'm annoyed. But this is me ranting. Life as a gig worker, as an Instacarter, DoorDasher. It'd be the stupid stuff that these customers do and the stupid stuff that the stores do. Then people just be in the way. You know? Look at him knocking over all the things. I didn't know those things could be knocked over that easily and flop back up. Those little white things that I was talking about the other day. Oh, yeah. So now I know if I end up hitting one that it's going to pop back up. <laughs> okay, police officer, you just showed me something. So hold on, y'all. And you'd be surprised how with the stupidest stuff that people order on DoorDash. They be just ordering junk food, soda. That was just one soda. They be just having, you can tell, especially at night, you can tell people be getting the munchies or something. I get an order for straight ice cream straight candy and soda and shit like that. It'd be like, <sighs> All right. The door. Ringing in. Let's see how much this is. It says JD Sports. I know you lying. They just sent me an order for $4.25. They want me to go in Mall Diamond Mall, which I do not do mall orders. Anything that requires me to go into mall, I don't do crumble no more. And put stores that have long waits, like I said, time is money in this industry. I don't play about my money. And they will try to lowball you, so you gotta make it work for you. Y'all gonna give me $4 to go on the mall and buy some shoes? Somebody wants some dang on shoes, some dunks. And I know them shoes are at least $100, and y'all gonna give me $4 for the order? You tripping. You big tripping. I'm about to decline that order. And I gotta get my acceptance rate back up because I've been missing a lot of orders or just declining them. Um, cause, um, like if I'm doing an Instacart order, um, sometimes I'll leave DoorDash on and it, but some of the orders that be coming through, I don't want those orders. They might be too far, especially depending on what's going on at the time. Cause like I say, I have to manage my time wisely so that I can get my kids and stuff. So I got to make sure the orders, I can pick them up and deliver them by time. My kids got to be ready. So if it be too far, be like I'm not going all the way out there or, you know, if that's too far out the way, I like to stay within my area um but in specific areas because that's where the money be at and like i like to drive shorter small shorter driving distances you know so it's less time you're spending around riding around um i like to be compensated properly let me check on this instacart order thing hold on 
Oh, this is the stuff that's really annoying. Then Instacart, they taking forever to answer the damn chat. Like, come on, bruh. Get this order off my screen. They holding up my money. Like, this shit is so annoying. Some days is good. Some orders is good. Some are annoying. And today, and I hate, what irritates me the most is when it's an order that's chump change that's giving me a hard problem or delaying my time because that order already some chump change and it's giving me issues. I don't like that. That make me want to cancel the whole order. You know, but I really don't want to be messing up my like rates and stuff like that. Um, but DoorDash, my acceptance rate right now is 28%. So I got to get it back up. And I don't care because y'all not going to be sending me these janky ass orders. Like, no. Play with somebody else. You're not playing with me. Okay. But I'll be back, y'all. I'll see y'all later. I just had to vent because this is annoying. And when they take forever to answer, I already got an issue with patience. So they really be testing my patience with this stuff. They are so annoying. Like, I don't know, Instacart must be busy. And it is just so irritating that they want everything done through the dang on app. Like, they still ain't respond to cancel that dang on batch. So this is holding me up. But luckily, that's why you always stay on multiple platforms. Because I'm on, um... <laughs> she too cute. She ain't paying attention. You about to get your ass hit up. Um, um, what was I about to say? But luckily, I'm on DoorDash as well. So, yeah, we're going to go do this 16, 1625 for this order. But they're sending us to two locations. We got to go to Hip Hop Chicken and we got to go to the uh, to the Safeway, which is fine because the Safeway is over by her dad's house. And I'm going to drop her off once we leave there anyway because he should be home by then. So I can drop her off to him. Um, so that'll work out perfectly. I'm hungry, I gotta see what I'm eating. You guys, one thing I can say is McDonald's, they always ready. They always ready. I love picking up for McDonald's because most times it's just a quick little pickup, drop off down the street, and McDonald's always ready when I get there with the order. All right, let's go drop this off. It's 7.30, almost 7.30. I'm gonna work till nine because I'm almost at my goal, so. Um, I'm about to meet my goal probably. I only got five more dollars to meet my goal, but I'm gonna work till 